Hi guys, Coach G here with another episode of Why Doctors. Myself and the beautiful wife are en route to a wedding right now and recognize that weddings, parties, holiday events are often the toughest times to stay on plan with your nutrition. So in this video, sorry for the shaky camera work, we are on the move. I'll share three different ways that you can improve your odds of success in staying on plan in situations like this. You can consider this to your weekend prep manual because this situation with parties, get-togethers, events often, most often is on the weekend. So three strategies for staying on plan. Number one, uh, arrive to the event with a full belly. There's really no substitute for good preparation and it is so much easier to stay on plan if you arrive to the event with a full belly, as in have a full meal before you even go to the event. People are much wiser and make better decisions when they're not in a state of desperation or hunger, and this includes you. So be sure, take the time, make the effort to carve out some time before the event to eat a full meal, and then when you arrive to the event, it'll be easier to say no to those unplanned foods, those cheats that are gonna be so tempting or are infinitely more tempting when you're hungry. Remember that hunger is a state of vulnerability and the better you can stay full with unplanned foods, the better. It might also be smart to bring an emergency kit with you. I have my emergency kit here. It's packed with lara bars, mixed nuts, and other snacks that are on plan for me. So being full before you arrive to the event, that is the first step. Second, at the event, keep a full plate and a full glass with you. If you have a full plate, psychologically it is easier and it makes you feel as though you're not being deprived and not restricting yourself. So what I mean is have a full plate with unplanned stuff, whatever unplanned stuff you can find at the event, whether it be any kind of vegetables, the celery, the carrots, whatever stuff that is there that is on plan, fill your plate with it quickly and keep your plate full so that you um, have the psychological advantage of feeling like I have a lot of food available to me and I can still eat, but what you're doing is you're keeping your plate full so that you don't have room on there for the off-plan foods. Keep drinking water throughout the event. As part of my second tip with the full plate, second is the full glass. Keep your glass full with water and keep drinking water because by addressing thirst proactively, you'll also address hunger. Hunger cravings are often thirst misinterpreted. And the third step, the third suggestion to keep you on plan really is about kind of forethought for after the event. If this is what it takes for you, if you're a carrot and stick kind of person and you find it easier to stay on plan with some kind of reward in the foreseeable future, make a reward for after the event that you'll give yourself some gift that is incentivizing for you. For example, if there's this thing you've been wanting to buy, but you've kind of been postponing it up till this point, promise yourself that if you stay on plan for the event, you'll give yourself that gift or reward of buying that thing for yourself or doing that thing for yourself. Maybe it's going out to some place or setting aside some cash for a vacation. Whatever reward will be incentivizing and motivating for you, take advantage of that so that when you're at the event, you can refocus your mind, not on the short-term high of whatever food is there and that you're trying to avoid, whatever cheap food usually tempts you. You can refocus your eye on, by staying on plan with this event, then I will get this reward after the event is done. I'll give myself X, Y, or Z as a gift. These are three quick tips to help you guys stay on plan over the weekends, at holidays, parties and more. Hope you found it valuable. Leave thoughts to comments. Thanks guys and we'll talk again soon in the next episode.